What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're going to be looking at the current state of loadouts in Arena. For those who don't know, Arena will have loadouts you must select in order to play at first. As we know it now, you will be able to use base game kits in Arena, but you have some sort of task line or something that you must do first. So on day one, you will be stuck with the loadouts that Arena gives you. It doesn't matter what level we're going to be in game for the base game. For more details on Arena and how that system works, check out my previous video, which is the part one on TwitchCon. To get started here, Marauder seems to be the lowest level based on on GLP, which is the rating that will define what ranks you have available. So it looks like it's slim pickings on day one with a Taz, an M4 that seems to be shooting M855, a Saiga shooting green tracer, and a double barrel. These are the starting loadouts along with whatever you've purchased, as there's also a few others that you have at the beginning. But apart from that, it's the Rizzy kit that we got with the pre-order. And I believe there's some other ones. I've seen some stuff around where I think the yellow ones we also start with or something. So when you see a yellow name, I, I think we start with those or in some way, shape, or form you can access those by another means. I'm not sure exactly. Because while we're on that subject, it's also possible that you find loadouts in the open world to use in Arena, and those will be found in the collection tab, I believe, primarily. But they do seem to pop up in the other tabs. So yeah, I still don't know, but you know, they're around. Next up, we have the Jackal with the MP133 shooting slugs, VPO209 shooting TKM, the STM9 shooting AP6.3, which honestly, I think will carry you for a while. That gun's a sleeper, especially with that ammo. And if everybody's running around with like this, kind of you know set up for guns then we have the good man kit which is just a tt but it is free that's also something to take into account sure some of these guns are pretty crappy but it might be super cheap and or free next up is mercenary at 2000 glp with the ak545 shooting possibly pp not sure what ammo that is there that's the other thing unfortunately on this build you didn't have inspection windows so you had to play a game with that loadout in order to see what the ammo is if you couldn't tell based off of the the window that we have there and sometimes med kits also didn't show up so we wouldn't know especially stems and stuff like that we wouldn't know until you actually played a game with it pp19 shooting ap that should be pretty good the free mts class shooting slugs then a clean shooting pbm with all of these classes i forgot to show the armor but later we'll see the classes full kit so if you like one of these classes try to remember its name and then later in the video you'll see the armor with it next category is fighter at 3000 glp with the ppsh mosin sniper with the beretta shooting ap so that might actually be pretty good early on there's a free snub nose mosin kit and a pretty solid built AK-74S or AKS-74, sorry, with the PL-15 also shooting AP with paratrooper there. Next is Warrior at 4,000 GLP with the Benelli M3 shooting AP-20 and a USP shooting AP. Looks like something I'm gonna try. There's a MP9 shooting rip as well as a Glock 17 doing the same. I believe, not sure why the color is a little different there. MP-153 shooting slugs for free and then a stock AK-74N and Mosin under tank there. It starts to pick up pace a bit with Gladiator at 5,000 GLP. There's an AK-1 5 and a PL-15 shooting AP, a free VPO-215 shooting AP, a SA-58 with a Vortex and a big mag along with a Glock-18 shooting AP. Then there's an SR-2M with the small mags and a Grok shooting AP. The last rank based on loadouts that we had access to at the tournament or at TwitchCon was Veteran and it starts off cheeky with a double RSH-12. The M1A with I believe M61 and a 1911 shooting rip. I think a few people tried this and it was shooting M61 but I could be wrong. I, I forget specifically. An OPSKS shooting BP and a UMP45 with a nice build shooting an AP along with a USP shooting AP. That UMP actually might be pretty, you know, good too. Now at 7,000 GLP, you get a snubby MPX shooting PBP out of a drum and a cult knife for a bit of style there. An AKM SN, I believe shooting BP, a M4 shooting M995. That's an actually kind of a okay build, especially where it's shooting M995 and a Glock shooting rip for Punisher there. I could see uh, Xfil on the other side there. So that class Punisher does have an Xfil. Don't know what body armor it has though you can check that out in a minute then shredder with the kector shooting rip but small mags and a usp shooting ap i can see a face shield tc on the other side of this one as well then finally we have elite with an interesting selection a vpo 101 shooting m61 vss shooting spp but small mags an rpk with a solid recoil reduction build there shooting unknown ammo and a shrimp then an rd 704 with the drum mag i want to say it's fmj or pp it could be bp and a 57 shooting 191. Now for the rest of the video, I'm in a bit of a pickle because I have no idea what classes unlock when. There was a screen available to us that showed that, but I haven't found a recording of it. And clown guy got distracted when going through the classes and forgot to show it here. So all I can do is assume the less effective classes unlock before the more effective, generally speaking. We already know that the classes that we have available don't unlock based off of prices because there is a difference in prices that, you know, vary pretty significantly 
consistently in the ranked loadouts. It can go from 15 to 205,000 in the, you know, the span of one loadout section or one ranking. So I'll scroll through and point out ones that I know were good and you can kind of peruse through the ones that we have available here. And again, this was at 6,000 GLP and level 30. So there are a bunch more. There's actually two full levels of ranking that can unlock. And then also I presume it goes up to 70. It's probably going to go up to, you know, at least, you know, 50 or 60. We'll see what the max level is in arena. So the top two in the tournament were Butcher with the SA-58 shooting M62 out of a drum, a slick, and an Alton. A lot of people were using this, but the clear king of the tournament was this Guardian class, an RPK with a drum mag shooting 7N40, level 5 rig, and a Bastion, I believe. I'm starting to lose my touch a little bit when identifying items in game. I think that's a Bastion with a face shield. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. There was also a class that was a TX-15 that was shooting SSA, and only the people like Willers that could really get shots on target were able to use that effectively. But again, it's SSA and it's a TX-15. It was pretty useful, but not a lot of people used it. Now, actually, while we're a little bit on the subject there of me losing my touch, I will be doing a lot of arena. So those of you who saw that clip of me and the, you know, the tournament there, we'll see a bit more of that. And then probably a lot more of what I did for the rest of the tournament, which was die a lot. Speaking of that clip, I was using Gaze, the AXMC with an ACOG shooting AP Lapua. And the secondary was a Vector shooting P. BP. So even at full health, I was able to shoot through face shields as long as I was able to hit the face shield. However, you don't get a helmet and it's only level four for the armor. So it's by definition a glass cannon, especially with that kind of ammunition being used. However, as with all glass cannons, if you're in the right spot, you'll lay down some hurt. So honorable mention with that one there. Now there were also several kits that you would think would do well, but don't, especially the 762 by 39 AK is shooting BP, as well as the Mark 47 build that they had. They didn't seem to be as effective as the 308 guns and even some 544 five guns surprisingly there's a couple scar loadouts that look like they should be a pretty good build they also shoot m61 or m62 but just don't drop people as fast as you think in the early days of arena i bet the submachine guns shooting ap and the shotguns will run the show personally especially since the armor hitbox changes will come with the december wipe which while we're on that subject arena is going to release before the december wipe so we are going to be playing arena as we lead into the wipe and bsg have not decided whether or not they are going to wipe your arena stats with the base game wipe. They don't necessarily need to. Personally, I think that they should. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please keep in mind that you can earn rubles in arena that you can then move to the base game. So if you just grind the hell out of arena, save up millions of rubles in arena, the game wipes, and then you move those rubles over to the base game. It's not really a wipe then, is it? But you know, just my take. I'll have all this footage in the background of some videos going forward, and I'll be sharing this with other creators so that they can get their own look at it. I'm still looking for any footage someone might have gotten from the tournament that shows the screen with the unlocks based on levels. If you find anything that looks like a timeline, it's a timeline of loadouts, let me know. I'm pretty sure that's what it looks like. Otherwise, that's all for now, guys. Let me know what you think will be the best classes going forward. Like if you did, sub for more. Comment what you think and check out my other channels for other games right here, like Star Citizen, for example. We have an org of over 250 people already, and we are looking for pilots. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.